What's up, y'all? Hey, thanks for tuning in with us today. Today we're going to teach you some tips to get through the Eudora High School. <laughs> So, Mr. Bover is kind of an old school teacher. He didn't like us having our phones out. And every time he did, I swear that dude could smell them. Smell. cares that your vehicle is that loud. You look like a tool bag, as you can see in the video. So you always want to make sure in class you just have more than one pencil. As you can see in the video, the people around you don't always have what you need and can't always offer the help. Be prepared, you never know exactly what you're going to need in school. Like we said earlier, it's about bringing more than one pencil to school. You have to be able to get through the school day without borrowing stuff, because that just gets old and annoying. Be confident. Don't be a cocky tool bag. If you have to hype yourself up for something, go ahead. But don't be the look at me guy. So you might be bringing your parents' vehicle to school, but that's still no excuse to be that guy that takes up four parking spots. Just Two. park normally. If there was one tip I could give to any anybody for any reason. It would be, never open up a brand new pack of gum while you're in class. So, couples in the hall. Let's cut it out.
picture day. Don't dress like a bum. You're not going to want to look stupid on your pictures because you're going to have them forever. And your mom's going to want these pictures. So, dress good. Dress nice. Dress nice. Jake. I know. It's picture day. Sweet. <laughs> oh, we know all about this one too well, don't we, Grant? We do. Don't start your projects at the last minute. It will catch up to you. Like this video right now. It's supposed to be due on Monday. Well, it's 8 p.m. the Monday is due. <laughs> Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So you might be in the weight room one of these days and you're getting a good lift on, your jam comes on, a good lifting song comes on, and you think you want to turn it up. Don't. Cats don't fly with that as you can see. In the video. So Grant, have you ever been late to school? I have a few times actually. Now, I know you live up north of town. Was it the train or were you just lazy? Most of the time it is the train, but that's beside the point. Don't get to school, or don't make a habit of getting to school at 8.08. It looks bad after a while, and it's not funny when you say, oh, I gotta go serve a detention because I'm too late to school because I can't get out of bed. And no one likes running into the school. <laughs> So you do good for two weeks, your grades are up, your attendance is good, no tardies, and you get an early out and a sore ticket. They suck. They are the most pointless pieces of paper you will ever receive. You can't use them for tardies. Hey, even though it says on the card, use for tardy. Teachers don't accept them. Use for homework. Don't even ask to use them for homework. You, but, look, you look terrible. But you can get a candy bar. You can get a freaking candy bar if you get three. Downing, you got your homework done? Um, no, but I, I got a sword ticket. Dude, sword tickets do not count for anything in this class. Like, what the heck? Austin, you're late. Mm -mm. I got a sword ticket! <laughs> yeah. So after you work out or you do something, maybe you just don't shower at home. You stink. Yeah, it's gross. You're 17, 18 year old kids now. Not even 17, 18 year old. You're in high school. It's okay to shower every once in a while. You're not gonna get made fun of. Your body changes and you got some BO and you don't put on deodorant and people make fun of you. You will get made fun of if you sneak. Dude, are you not sharing? No. So asking a teacher for help isn't always the easiest thing. Surround yourself with the good, smart people, and sooner or later they will help you out if you ask nicely.
people are always going to ask you, what are you going to want to do with your life after you graduate? I don't know. I feel you, buddy. Well, some of you go off to university, vocational, trade school, community college, or even the military. That's just for two to four years. So you still have to figure out what you're going to do after that. And the chances are, you at 17 or 18 years old, you probably don't have a good idea of what you're going to do. Sup, bruh. What's up, man? You know, not so much. Man, we're gonna go to graduation. Oh no, man. I might, I might just become a police officer or something. You know? Okay. Oh, you about that? What happened? You finished that series? You know, I love books. I've been loving books lately, so I might just become a librarian. Oh, hey, uh, shut uh, up. Uh, library, be quiet. Yeah, I just want to probably be a librarian. Having good friends in high school is what really makes things bearable. You're there seven, eight hours a day. You play sports with them, and you've grown up with them since kindergarten. Your friends in high school will probably be the ones you remember the most. When you're down and your back's against the wall, your true friends are gonna come out and they're gonna shine through and they're gonna pull you out of it and help you along. Whether it's something as simple as you got a bad test grade, or there's a lot of drama in high school and let's say you have a bad relationship go on, your friends are going to be the one to pull you out of it. So make sure you keep good ones around you. Being involved in high school, you make new friends and you find out what you really enjoy in life, whether it's playing an instrument in band, playing sports, singing in the choir, or clubs such as FFA or FBLA. You find out what you want to do and the people that are involved, you'll have more in common with them and you make more friends. We've had a lot of fun in high school. We've made and lost friends along the way. We've had a lot of great experiences. But our time is coming to a close. So our final tip to you is, just relax and enjoy high school. It goes faster than you think. <laughs>